Hi. Hi from Ann and Rachel. We haven't talked to you since August of 2021, but times change and you have to learn to adapt. You have to learn to be a sunflower and turn your face to the sunshine into new possibilities. I tell you, this year was kind of frustrating for me. First, I couldn't get my magic buttons made from the company that I had ordered them from. I had to find a new company, but they're back in stock now. And then my wonderful ceiling irons. I can't get these anymore. So we're using the, the clover, the mini iron. And this is the tip that it comes with this pitiful little tip. And the iron that I'm selling um, comes with uh, the adapter for the larger thing. It's still a small surface uh, area compared, but it will get the job done. And you know that once you build your project, sealing each piece down as you go, then you um, iron everything or press everything with a big iron, with a regular iron to make sure that it's all sealed down to the French fuse. It's been so long. <laughs> okay, hi everybody. Safety tip from Rachel here. These little clover stands. We're so thankful we have something we can use since we can't get our um, regular ceiling irons right now. But this little stand it comes with tips really easily. So we've got this hot, hot pad. So be a wise owl and set up somewhere where it's you've got it so it's safe. So this year has been all about adapting for both Anne and, and me. Um, so we're being like sunflowers, learning to adapt, leaning our, our heads towards the sun. So this um, sunflower pattern that Anne made, um, we are now including for free in the Get It All package. So you can make this yourself. You order one of Anne's Get It All packages, which comes with everything, a book, a ceiling iron, two rotary cutters, two magic buttons, um, Glue sticks, stiletto, sto, sewer stiletto, oh, the French fuse, and three yards of French fuse that's 60 inches wide, um, and this pattern. All right, so this is my book, No Sign to Your Quilt It, which you'll need to learn the technique. There are beginning projects in the book to two advanced quilts. Uh, this is the first quilt in my book, this tulip with heart. This is finished, I finished it years ago in 2007. It's the first pattern in the book and it will teach you how to build your quilts on the French Fuse Foundation and will show you how to do all these points. So this is what it looks like when you're building your quilt. It's one layer of French Fuse, one continuous layer of French Fuse on top of your design and then you build your pieces one piece at a time on top of your pattern and these are the front uh the freezer paper patterns so everything is on top of your work you don't have to reverse anything so there's patterns in my book but don't worry if you can't draw and you want to do something else there's lots of coloring books out there there's uh stained glass pattern books some of them even have a a full size drawing that you can pull out and use that. So you learn the technique in my book and then you're on your way to creating whatever you can imagine. So I'm also adapting with my vision. My vision isn't that great anymore. I still enjoy building my quilts out here, but my close vision is terrible at the sewing machine. So this last spring I went to a retreat and enjoyed building this tulip poplar blossom from a photograph. And then I had my friend Hazel use this um, control freak by Gina Perk, Perks or something like that. Anyway, there it is. So Hazel stitched this for me on her long arm machine. These little notches are made to slip in the hopping foot of different sizes of hopping feet. Anyway, so she could just guide this around the edges to stitch, to outline stitch. And now I'm gonna go back. She's quilted some of this down for me, but I can see well enough to fill in some of the, the spaces. I can do the 
um, echo quilting without having to see a perfect line, thank goodness. And I use invisible thread so you don't see my ugly stitches. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to a retreat this fall. The nice thing about no sewing until you quilt it is you don't have to drag your sewing machine to your retreat. I can build this. They usually have a 30 inch uh, table for us to work on. And so I can build this without dragging my sewing machine. And I got the design out of this uh, book called Simpio Simply Circular Designs. And I thought this would be interesting. They do have a few color pictures in here. Um, this is the color picture they had of this. I don't like these colors, but I can do whatever colors, you know, I'm thinking of. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. It's fun to start looking at fabric and putting combinations together. So anyway, I hope you have a project you enjoy. Happy quilting.